So in this video, I'm leaving the dock single-handed and I'm going to use what I call the Metessier, the Bernard Metessier stern tie-off. I read about it in, in one of his books. Of course, he's famous for single-handing. And so what he does, the, the first thing here is I'm doing the Metessier tie-off where basically you put, you know, a, a smooth, stretchy line and for me it's to my winch and um, I bring it back onto the dock and I snug it up and then I do here I use one round turn and two half hitches around the, the winch and that's really so that I can get it undone under load the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the boat in forward here I put it in gear and just leave it at an idle in gear and you can see there that when I do that the boat actually sucks right into the dock so between the Metessier tie off and the engine in slow forward just showing you there how I've got it hooked up um, it holds the boat in place and here I've actually got a little bit of wind on the bow which we'll see later but if I give it enough forward the boat just sits there quietly and now I can literally undo all the other four dock lines without having to worry without having to hold them without having to hold the boat without having to worry about losing the bow in the wind so uh, I'm, I'm starting with the you know the forward spring line I'm getting that undone and um, when I'm doing that, you know, and probably not a bad practice, but uh, for for anybody, but um, I um, I kind of do an elephant ear, you know, if you will, with the dock line over the side, so that if something does go wrong, I can easily reach those lines again. So. Um, Actually, that was a midship line that I just did there. Now I'm doing the, the forward spring line. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to undo the line. And I'm going to do the elephant ear over the lifelines. Um, again, just to make it easy for myself in the event that I need to retie the boat back up for some reason. So now I'm, I'm heading to the back and um, there's the rear spring line that I'm I'm tying off now and uh, that one you want to be careful you know that it doesn't dangle in the water uh, super easy to um, if the line goes in the water it can get caught in the prop and I know that from experience because I've done it and it, you know it always happens when you don't want it to happen is seems to be the thing so now I'm I'm undoing the uh, the rear dock line, and uh, that's the last one on the back of the boat. And again, you know, getting that one, uh, making sure it's uh, easy easy to grab, but not going to fall in the water and get tangled in the prop. So now. I'm just giving it a little more. I can see that the bow is moving a bit in the wind. So I gave it a little more forward gear to provide a little more force to hold it against the dock before I undo the last line on the bow. So you can see there, there's no tension on that line at all. The Metessier stern tie and with the engine in, in forward, um, it's holding the boat nicely against the dock. Some folks are not comfortable stepping off their boat um, with it in gear. And, you know, I certainly understand that. And, you know, we've all got to operate within our comfort zones. But, um, like I say, um, I learned this tactic or I read about this tactic in one of Bernard Metessier's books. I figure, well, if it was good enough for him in the mid-1960s, it's good enough for me. Um, so we can see there, 
There's the Metessier tie-off under tension, and the, the engine is still in forward. So I'm going to um, start with just loosening off the one round turn and two half hitches, but I'm not going to take it off the winch quite yet. I'm just going to, I've got enough wraps there that uh, I can just hold it with my own hand strength. And there we go. Now I'm putting it in neutral. You can see once I put it in neutral, the wind has already started to blow the boat back. So there was, you know, a reasonable amount of wind and this, the Metessier stern tie and having the motor in forward worked very well. There you can see now I'm really away from the dock and uh, I'm effectively finished now. So there you go. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.